This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. Jujo Ginza Shopping Street, Walking and Eating. 15 Recommended Foods. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Akanemaru, born and raised in Japan. In this video, we will be eating and walking in Jujo Ginza Shopping Street. We will introduce 15 foods, including food that you have to wait in line to buy. At the end, we will introduce the thickest taiyaki in Japan, so please look forward to it. Now, let's get started! This time, we are going to Jujo Nakahara in Kitaku. We have arrived at Jujo Station. It takes about 10 minutes from Shinjuku Station by train. Then, we will head for our destination. It takes about 30 seconds on foot from the north exit of Jujo Station. Here we are! This is the Jujo Ginza shopping street we will introduce this time. This shopping street has more than 120 years of history. There are over 200 stores there, including restaurants, grocery stores, etc. The shopping street is known as one of the most visited shopping streets in Tokyo, with about 15,000 visitors per day. Let's begin our walking tour! First of all, we would like to introduce you to this store, Kamataya. This onigiri specialty store has been in business for over 60 years. They make about 3,000 onigiri a day, but they are so popular that they are sold out before noon. We will introduce you to two particularly recommended onigiri from over 40 different varieties. The first one is This onigiri. Eel tempura wrapped in rice and seaweed. You can smell the nice flavor of seaweed. The sweet sauce is perfect match with the rice. The eel is plump and fatty. The next food is inari, which is rice wrapped in deep fried tofu skin. It has a nice smell of vinegar and soy sauce. The texture of the mountain herbs and carrots in the rice is a nice accent. The sweet flavor is addictive. Next, I would like to introduce you to Sozai Miyahara. This store has been in business over 20 years and specializes in deli foods. It offers a wide variety of freshly cooked side dishes. This time, we will introduce three of them. The first one is croquette. It is amazing that croquettes can be offered at this price. Even though it is inexpensive, the size isn't any different from other stores. There are corn and carrots inside. The potatoes are smooth and sweet. The next food is yakitori. The chicken thigh is grilled with soy sauce based sauce. It is so juicy with just the right amount of elasticity. Let's try the grilled chicken skin. The skin has a nice firm texture and is covered with fat. The sweet sauce is soaked into the meat and very tasty. Even though it is inexpensive, it tastes authentic. Next, we would like to introduce you to this store, Darumaya. This Japanese sweet shop has over 70 years of history. You can eat in the store, but this time we decided to take out this Japanese traditional sweet. This is Kusamochi, which is mochi with mugwort mixed in. It has a fresh smell of mugwort. There, the bean paste is smoothed, called koshian inside. The sweet bean paste and the slightly bitter mochi are a good match. It makes me want to drink a cup of warm green tea. 
Next, we will introduce this store, Summaries. It is a popular bakery with 35 stores around Tokyo. They have more than 100 kinds of breads, but what we introduce here is one of the most popular breads among them. It is a deep fried curry bun. The outside is crispy, but the dough is fluffy and moist. The curry inside is stewed for a long time, so the beef is melted. It is spicy, but also has the sweetness of onions. The smell of spices spreading in your mouth. Next, we would like to introduce you to this store, Musashiya. It has a history of over 60 years as a Japanese sweet shop. They have a wide variety of sweets made with rice and red bean paste. Here we will introduce two that are especially recommended in this store. The first one is the mochi on a skewer. I put a mixture of soy sauce and sugar called mitarashi on it. It has a nice smell of soy sauce. The chewy texture is wonderful. The inside is filled with koshi an. The saltiness of the soy sauce and the sweetness of the red bean paste go surprisingly well together. Next is the dorayaki. This dorayaki has brown sugar in the dough. The brown sugar flavor and natural sweetness is wonderful. Inside the dorayaki, there are red bean paste and chestnuts. The chestnuts are moist and sweet. The taste feels Japanese. Now, we would like to introduce you to two very popular Japanese sweets that you can eat at home. Tokyo Treat and Sakurako are subscription services for Japanese sweets. They deliver popular Japanese snacks to 180 countries around the world. These are the two that we recommend by native Japanese speakers. We will introduce them one by one because they have different concepts. First of all, we would like to introduce Sakurako. Sakurako is a monthly delivery service of traditional Japanese sweets. It is filled with precious sweets that can only be found in Japan. Every month, they offer a different concept of sweets, so you can enjoy a variety of Japanese sweets. Let me briefly introduce this month's pastry. This is a stick cake made of sponge cake dough and filled with custard cream. It's very soft and fluffy. The rice crackers made with Akita miso have a nice miso smell and a strong taste. There are also mayonnaise flavored rice crackers. This sweet fills your mouth with the flavor of matcha green tea. There are also Western-style Japanese sweets with vanilla cream in between. The jelly with red beans and chestnuts is sweet and melts in your mouth. There are also various other kinds of sweets. In the package, it includes tea bags that make it easy to enjoy authentic green tea. Please try them with Japanese sweets. The pottery tableware with kanji characters on it is very stylish. Please try Sakurako and Feel Japan. Next, we will introduce Tokyo Treat. Tokyo Treat is packaged with famous Japanese national brand snacks and soft drinks that can be found in convenience stores and supermarkets. There are all sweets and soft drinks that our generation enjoys eating on a daily basis. It includes Kit Kat, which is one of the most popular souvenirs from Japan. The melon flavor is filled in your mouth. These chips are flavored with Korean seaweed. You can't stop eating after one bite of this corn potash flavor snack. It also included traditional sweets dipped in plum jam. It includes Pocky, which is very popular for young people in Japan. 
it is surprising to see blueberry flavor paki in it, which is hard to find in Japan. Besides the sweets, there is also a cup of udon noodles that can be made simply by pouring hot water into the bowl. The soup has a nice dried bonito flavor, and the noodles have a chewy texture. The mandarin orange juice has a fun texture with the grains of mandarin orange in it. There are also a variety of other snacks in the package. Try these trendy Japanese flavors. Tokyo Treat and Sakurako also include a brochure with information on allergy labeling and eating instructions. Use this code to receive a $5 discount on your purchase. Those snacks are all authentic sweets that we highly recommend. Please check out the link in BIO. Enjoy the taste of Japan at home! Now, back to the walking and eating. Next, we will introduce this store, Tekoya. This takoyaki shop is located in Osaka, the home of takoyaki. There are other dishes besides takoyaki, but this time we decided on freshly baked takoyaki. The classic takoyaki, topped with sauce, mayonnaise, dried bonito flakes, and green onions. The crunchy texture of the green onion is nicely accented with a slight spiciness. The outside is crispy and the inside is tender. The octopus is also large enough and has a plump texture. The next store we would like to introduce is Shinjuku Saboten. Founded in 1966, this pork cutlass specialty store has the highest sales and the largest number of stores in Japan. There are bento lunch boxes and other items available, but this time will be this pork cutlass sandwich. This pork cutlass sandwich is made by layering thin slices of pork loin with cheese inside. The thin layers of meat make it more tender and melt in your mouth. It's been flavored with teriyaki sauce, so it has a sweet taste. The bread is coated with mayonnaise with mustard, so it has a nice spicy flavor. Next, we will introduce you to this store, Tori Dai. It is a store specializing in chicken meat with a history of over 60 years. It is a very popular place with a long waiting line every day. We will introduce three dishes. The first one is this most popular food in this restaurant. It is deep fried minced chicken, tori ball. They are so inexpensive that everyone buys at least 10 pieces per person. The outside is crispy and the inside is moist. The sweetness of the meat keeps me going after just one bite. Next is the shrimp cutlet. Minced browns are dipped with coarse breadcrumbs and deep fried. It is always sold freshly fried, so it is crispy. The prawns have a nice plump texture and sweet taste. The next food is fried chicken. There is a good smell of soy sauce. The garlic and ginger are very flavorful. The chicken is well soaked with flavor all the way to the inside. Advanced level of fried chicken at a restaurant specializing in chicken. This last store we will introduce is Kenzo. It is a popular taiyaki store. Their taiyaki are famous for being the thickest taiyaki in Japan. Let's eat a freshly baked taiyaki. The size is large and satisfying. The outside is crispy and has a biscuit-like texture. It is thick, but the inside is fluffy, so the texture is very light. There is also red bean paste, but this time we went with custard. You can feel the sweetness of the egg and milk. The dough is thick and fluffy, 
so it's like eating pancakes. If there's any restaurant you'd like us to introduce, let us know in the comments. Please give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.